Yo, what's up, my friends? It's Steve from Straight Fire Picks. We got best bets for Major League Baseball here on Wednesday, July 26, 2023. We have MLB player props, run lines, over unders, nerfies here for you today. We're going to have three picks that make a great value bets for this Wednesday Major League Baseball slate. As always, we'd just like to thank you all for your continued support here on the channel. If you are new to the channel here today, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Always appreciate that. Make sure you guys also follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, at Straight Fire Picks for additional content, recaps, things of that nature. One other thing, guys, be sure to also check out our Discord as well. I'll have a link down below in the comment section and description for that. Absolutely free. You um, get access to the chat, talk about sports, connect with the community. Um, you can get more ideas for picks as people post in um, picks with research. Uh, Got to get the bag, namely. Uh, post a lot of great stuff on our channel, so be sure to check that out. Um, really a great tool for you guys to use. Be sure to also drop your favorite pick down below in the comment section as well. If you'd like your pick included in our comment capper section, just be sure to put a star or an asterisk next to your pick. And we'll include your pick in the video if it hits. We didn't have any comment cappers yesterday that hit, I believe. Uh, but as far as our results, we ended up going 2-1, and one, and really it was the best case scenario 2-1. and one. We had two plus value plays that cashed. Uh, so we had the Cubs first five innings, minus 0.5 on the run line there in the first five. Uh, at plus 130 odds, they cashed that easily. Um, really great stuff there from Hendricks and this Cubs offense early on in the game. I believe they won the first five 6-1 to one or 5-1. to one. Uh, But obviously it really wasn't even close. Um, and then we cashed, cashed Manny Machado over one and a half bases, plus 105 odds. Uh, there as well, he ended up hitting a home run, so that was obviously terrific. Mr. Nerfy bat uh, with the Mets Yankees. Um, you know, Herman end up, ends up giving up a run um, on a single. It was definitely sad. I believe Alonzo hit a base hit, knocked in Nemo with two outs in the top of the first. So that was obviously sad, but that's okay. Starting up with a solid day, plus 1.35 units on the day. Let's get back after today, though, guys. I really want to dial in and get this 3 0 sweep. So let's get after today. Let's get this sweep at number one. We are going with the Los Angeles Angels, Detroit Tigers, Norfie bet here. No run first inning, minus 110 odds here on Caesars. So we got Patrick Sandoval going to the mound for the Angels, 5-7, and 4.16 ERA, 1.41 whip. That whip is definitely high. I know I'm mentioning the ERA and whip numbers, but um, just using them for reference. Uh, Sandoval here, 5-5, five and five, last 10 games to the Norfie. You know, he's not hasn't been the greatest Nerfy pitcher uh, this season, but I think against this Tigers offense, who's uh, 24th versus left-handed pitching, I think he can get it done versus them. And then on the other side, you got Lorenzen, who's been absolutely terrific. His last three starts, he hasn't even given up a run. He's been he's riding a really hot streak right now. Uh, so I think, obviously, he can roll that over into this game. He's 5-6, and 3.49 ERA, 1.09 whip, 8-2 last 10 games to the Nerfy. He's been absolutely terrific that way. Uh, like I said, he hasn't even allowed a run in his last three starts. He's been absolutely fantastic. And yeah, you know, obviously the Angels, you know, have a few bats at the top of that lineup that can uh, hit one out of the park. But I think with the way Lorenzen's rolling right now, confident he can get us through that uh, top of the first inning there. Yeah, the Tigers here, 21st in first inning runs. Angels 11th. Um, so at least the ones in the top 10. Angels are close. Obviously, they're, they're you know, between Otani. Um, and a couple guys they have there at the top, it's definitely dangerous. But, um, you yeah, know, I think here, I think Lorenzo can hold them down. Tigers Park, more of a hitter's park for sure. Uh, but like I said, I do like both of these pitchers. You know, I don't trust the Tigers offense at all. They don't scare me one bit. Um, like I said, 24 versus lefties. Angels 12th versus right-handed pitching for what it's worth. It's about middle of the pack. It's not like it's crazy. Uh, but love it there, though, guys, for our number one pick. We're going Los Angeles Angels, Detroit Tigers, Nerfy bet here. No run first inning, minus 110 odds here on Caesars. Okay, and at number two, love this one, guys. We've been doing pretty solid with our bases bets lately. Cash Machado, the other day we cashed Nolan Gorman at plus 130. Today, we got Christian Yelich over one and a half bases for the Milwaukee Brewers, minus 105 odds here on DraftKings. I've actually played his bases props quite a bit, as you guys know in the past. But right now, this guy is absolutely scorching at the plate, right? He's 14 out of 19 games to this line. So 14 and 5 in the month of July to this line. That's absolutely terrific. He's batting 301 at home and 309 versus right-handed pitching, which he's up against the righty Lively today, who has great numbers against. He's 4 for 11 off of Lively. That's a 364 average with a home run. So obviously we love seeing that. 
great numbers there. Since the All-Star break, guys, Yelich, uh, not just the batting average, but also his power numbers. He's slugging 7-11 since the All-Star break. So he's got eight extra base hits in 11 games since the All-Star break. This guy's hitting, hitting not only for average, but also for power right now, which we love both those things, right? He's nine out of his last 12 games at home to this line as well. So we love to see that. You got the Reds bullpen here, 15th in bullpen ERA. They've allowed the eighth most hits. So a very hittable bullpen as well, which I like seeing that, obviously. And, uh, you know, Lively is not like the cream of the crop. He hasn't been bad, though, this year. He's allowing a 244 average to lefties, but a 504 slugging to lefties. Um, so usually when he gives up hits to left handed uh, bats, you know, they tend to be more in the extra base hit variety. Uh, which we like seeing that as well. I just love all the components of this, guys. I think Yelich has another chance to have a big day at the plate. Love it there for our number two pick, guys. We're going with Christian Yelich over one and a half bases here for the Milwaukee Brewers. Minus 105 odds here on DraftKings. Okay, and finally, at number three, love this one, guys. Um, for the value, we're going with the New York Mets. First five innings, plus .5 run line here. Versus the New York Yankees, minus 102 odds here on FanDuel. This one really stands out. Um, I think Rodon is getting a lot of respect right now. And, you know, typically in the past I'd say it's warranted. But so far uh, with the Yankees, he has not been great. He's 0-3 with a 7.36 year rate, 1.43 whip. Hasn't really been great in any of those three starts. Um, so I think here the Mets are going to have a chance to get to him. Mets actually... Um, their bats are actually pretty decent as well on the road. So the fact that the Mets are on the road, it actually plays to our advantage. So 12th and average um, on the road, which is way up from what they normally are um, at home. They hit way worse. Uh, 12th and average, though, on the road, while the Yankees are 28th and average at home, batting average at home. So I like seeing that. Honestly, I think that gives us a nice little advantage here. The Yanks, obviously, you know, without Aaron Judge, this lineup really doesn't scare me a lot right now. There's a lot of swing and mess in that lineup. You got Quintana on the mound here for the Mets, who was pretty solid in his first start. Just one start, five innings pitched, two earned runs, 1.20 whip. So he was obviously very solid in that first start. Um, obviously looking for that to happen again. Both these teams are bad versus left-handed pitching, which plays to our advantage because if it ends 0-0, right, we cash. That's why I like the plus .5. The Yankees here 27th versus left-handed pitching. Mets are 26. So both these teams struggle versus lefties. And both these pitchers, obviously, are lefties. So, uh, I think here, <clears throat> obviously, I like that tie equity. I like the fact that, fact that the Mets' bats are better on the road. Consider the under four and a half runs in the first five, which I don't think is bad, honestly. But Rodon has just been so bad to start his Yanks tenor. I'm a little nervous about that. Um, I think he could get shelled, potentially, even though the Mets' offense, in general, usually doesn't scare me that much. Neither one of these offenses does, honestly. So... Um, but I think it's got a great chance to cash. Love the value on it, guys. We're going with the New York Mets. First five innings, plus .5 run line here versus the New York Yankees. Minus 102 odds here on FanDuel. All right, guys, that's going to do it for our bets. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. Still on the road to 7,000 subscribers. Make sure you guys are following us on social media, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, at Straight Fire Picks. Really helps us out. Uh, we post uh, recaps and stuff like that on there, additional content. Um, and things like that. Guys, I appreciate you guys all. I'm trying to get consistent with these videos. Like I said, my goal is to have five videos out uh, per week. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be, be able to do every day uh, because of time and different things that come up, but um, I love engaging, love doing this stuff, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the content. And uh, other than that, it's going to do it for me. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. We'll catch you next time. Peace out.